everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything on this link and don't forget to like comment and share my videos thank you hello everyone today we will work on our side navigation for that we will write w3 school side nav and when you search for it you will see the first link is for side navigation and there are many example here choose one that you want to use inside your website there are many of them and here there is a good one but I will use the next one here you can see the background color also changes whenever the site navigation open I will use this code so let's copy them and we will paste this inside our website so first let's save this code so we can use whenever we need this uh, code and for this we will use save this code inside our admin side you can save it anywhere you want this is not necessary because we will just add this code directly inside other pages wherever we want to use it so let's go to our admin side books page or you can go to student side too we will use this on both side so first let's add the meta tag from our site navigation code to our books page And after this there you can see inside the style tag of our books page there is already a class style uh, called search and here we will add the other styling for this page now we will copy this style tag and here we will just paste it and after this we will go to our body section and inside this body tag there we just need to copy this whole code from this side nav page and use that inside that book page copy till the script tag ends and here after the body tag we will start a comment and then paste it so if we want to modify them later we can modify them easily after this we will just paste the code ok done now save this and this is actually added before the search bar and if you save this and let's go to our books page you will see the change you can see our new navigation code is actually added our uh, okay there is some paragraph and heading here we will delete them and see them again now save this page again and refresh this page okay now you can see there is only this span here and you can see that the table is actually behind the navigation whenever the navigation is opening but we don't want that we want our table inside the uh, small box actually the gray page so for that we need to add all this inside this main tag so we will just delete that div and add the div after every code in this page before the body tag ends here now you can see all this code inside this id main if you go back to the top you can see div id main ok all this code are inside this main so it will be inside that gray box now click on this and you can see that table is actually here we can see the full table and if you click on this the table is actually as the width increase the table width also increases now you can see that the side navigation actually hide this name of our 
website we don't want it like that so we will change the height or you can say we will just add a margin here so let's inspect and here you will just need to find the class name where we want to add the margin here if we click on this you can see this is the width okay so we will change the margin here inside our side nav class so let's go back to our page and find the class here after this we will add a margin we will add the margin only on the top position so we will add 50 and now save this okay now you can see that the online library management system can be seen properly now we just want to both the navigation bar have same color so we will change the color let's go back again to the inspection and select the background color and take it to the top and click on the navigation you can see the color and copy this hex code from the box and we just need to paste that co code inside our side nav class now you can see both the navigation have the same color so we will go to our body tag again here you can see the code properly there is some class name sorry some function name and this is working whenever we click on it there are some navigation here and after that our main id starts and inside that main id you can see there is a span and if we click on it okay the span is actually you can see that three line on the left side if we click on this because we have written it on click then whenever we click this function actually is called so we need to define this function after this so whenever someone click on this they will call that function open up so after this you can see inside the script tag there is the function definition here inside the function definition you can see document dot get element by id they are actually getting the element by id my side nav so if you click on this you can see this id somewhere here there is our id name so they are uh, going to this id whenever someone click on the span and whenever this happens they actually change the width to 250 for our side navigation let's change it to 300 and you will see the change and whenever this happens they actually change the margin of our main main id to where our table and all other things are and there is a background color you can see whenever we are opening our side navigation the page actually have changed it color when we click on this you can see the white actually now 300 and on the right side there is the color change you can see them properly let's change the white a bit more so we will see this okay I probably forgot to save it let's save it again and refresh the page now click on this you can see the white actually changed so if you want to change your white you can change it like this you just need to change the white of your side navigation and also you need to add a margin and we will keep it 300 after this you can see the close navigation function whenever we click on the cross 
cross sign you can see that the navigation actually closes here they wrote it whenever someone actually close click, click on that cross sign they call this function and here also they uh, actually call that uh, my side nav id and here they change the width from 300 pixel to 0 also the margin goes from 300 to 0 so that's how they close that page and here the background color also turned white again they were gray a bit ago when the side nav was open and after the side nav closed the page color also turned back to white you can change this color anything you want and after this there are some navigation we will change the name of our navigation according to the page link we want to add inside our side navigation so here we will add profile then we will add books we will add some other book issue information and we will as this is our admin side he can see how many book requests people actually requested and the issue information which student issued which book and then inside this okay need to log in here you can see that profile.php page and here we will use this instead of hash and later we will create these pages and add the name here now if we go back to our books page and if we click on these links you can see that we will go to that page so that's how our side navigation is working we will add some other things here now we will open another page inside our navigation okay that means side there is our navigation page and inside this navigation page there is our a profile image and we will copy this div and we will add this before this navigation start before the profile and books and other navigation Now if we refresh this and open this, you can see the profile image on the side navigation too. We will change the height and white. Okay, we will change it a bit more. And then we will take it in the middle position. For that we will add margin left, we can add it inside this styling. and we will add a break between the image and the username so now the image is in the middle position but we need to add something else with our username Save this page again, refresh this and you can see it like this. And if we click on the image on our navigation, okay, we probably did not add any link here. We will add profile.php inside this anchor tag too, so that whenever someone click on the profile page, they will be directed to their profile page. this is actually inside our navigation page so if we refresh this and click on this now we will be directed to our profile page ok we were inside our books page in the navigation and here 
we can change the font size of our username we will add another break here now we just need to change the font size for that we will add it here working so let's just use 20 okay we will keep it like this but we just need to adjust it a bit so we will use two different margin for image and the username so let's style our image circle class a bit here we will add this margin and ok it's working but we just need to adjust them so that image has 80 and the writing has a different one so 60 and 20 ok it's working so that way we just need to take the username in the middle position let's use like this 50 and 30 ok yes now it's working properly let's just make the image circle 20 and here margin will be 60 ok now it is alright now let's go back to our student page and we will add this code inside our student page too we will add the side navigation we are using this side navigation in these pages because we don't want all the navigation on the top navigation only because that way this will the whole navigation bar will be full of text and some of these pages are not needed all the time so we will keep the main navigation on the top bar and the less important one on the side navigation that's why we are using our side navigation bar and inside the student student page we just added our meta tag and after this we will copy the style from the body to the end of it we will not copy the dot search class and after this we just paste it and now save this and if we refresh this inside our student page we can see the same side navigation we can add different pages here in the, in the navigation Okay, now you can just add it like this inside your student site too.